What's up everyone, Ben Bryan here. Today we're gonna be cleaning up this bamboo clump. This particular species is Bambusa blumeana or here in the Philippines, we call it Kawayan Tinik. And it's called Tinik because it has these thorns lots of thorns so you'll see if you don't i don't have too many scratches now just a couple but if you don't wear proper gloves this thing can tear you to shreds the idea is we're going to clear out the center of these poles here so that the rest of the clump will be able to thrive so the things we're going to do are have to remove some of these branches with all of the thorns that go up. So we'll be able to extract some of the old poles as well as clean up the base here. So we've got some old stumps and some um, bamboo that's ready to harvest. So it's gonna be, uh, you know, a couple of different things we're gonna do here, but this is the kind of bamboo that we use to build the BAM bikes and uh, yesterday, I was able to pull out a number of these old poles here. I'm going to turn into a fence for some of the seedlings that I'm planting. But uh, the important thing is to get the clump ready before the onslaught of the rainy season. Because with a clean clump, you'll then enable uh, more bamboo shoots to come out and grow. You've got to make space down at the base so that these shoots can emerge from the rhizomes or the root base system of the bamboo. This is a clumping bamboo. It's sympodial as opposed to monopodial, which has single poles growing out. This grows in big clumps and left unchecked, this particular species can get unruly and just become almost impossible to harvest. So it's important to regularly clean up the branches that then release the spines. So we're gonna get into it. Stay tuned. Bamboo hut. of the branches with the thorns and now I'm gonna take this electric chainsaw and try and cut out this piece here from the base so we can try and uh, clear out some more space our technique is gonna be to do the shape of a horseshoe so we're gonna try and clear out the center of this clump here to make a lot of space inside. I guess I didn't do as good a job as I could of clearing the stuff, but good enough. Okay, I'll get you in for a little closer look. We're through. So now what we got to do is we're going to try and pull this baby out without getting stuck by anything. This electric chainsaw adapter on the angle grinder has been okay. I wouldn't say it's a great tool so far yet, but we're still working it out. I just lubricated the, uh, the chain, which helped a lot, and I just gave it a full charge. But in the past, I've found it can die pretty quickly. So what I'm seeing now here is we've got these 
branches at the base which are holding this particular pole against the clump. Oh gosh. What I feared was gonna happen just happened. My shears just broke. This gave out from the base. That kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, maybe it's too much pressure. We'll need to try and fix this one or have to get a new one. But good thing I have an electric chainsaw to help me cut this stuff out. Chainsaw does do really good work on the smaller branches. Um, cut through like butter. There we go. It's just a bit tangled up at the top. But yeah, this is an old, old piece of bamboo. Super solid, good for fence posting and such but taking up too much space in this clump and it's already been either lopped off or it broke at the top here. So good to get this guy out and removed. Woo. You can feel it. It completely solid timber here. So this will make a great, great fence post. All right, we got this guy here, which has been broken off. The top is dead. This one, might as well remove it. Make room for some new stuff. All right. I'm gonna do it. Ideally, you wanna take these poles out right above a node, but this one we might require a couple of goes for us to get everything really clean. So we'll just cut this one out and then see what happens. So sometimes this chainsaw gets caught up, especially with the weight of the pole. But that can be fixed just by changing the angle. All right. There we go. It's gonna make a nice, good fence post. All right, found another one here that's been lopped off at the top or that broke. So we're just gonna try and get in here and take that out pretty quick too. Whoop. Okay. Yeah, these electric kind of bootleg chainsaws are not the best, but it's doing a lot better since I've lubricated it and got it fully charged. So we are almost there. But it seems like we are almost out of battery. Yeah, you can tell the battery's almost dead. Good thing I got another battery, so we're gonna do a little hot swap. Gonna get a fresh battery up in here. We'll do that and come right back. I got a fresh battery here. Unfortunately, I've only got the small batteries, the uh, 1.5 amp hour. Uh, they make some bigger units, so it's really easy. You can slide them in and out, but this thing, eats up a lot of power when I'm cutting through bamboo. So I want to get a jacked up battery, bigger one, but that's for next time. Bosch, if you're listening, we got to talk. Bam Bosch. Okay, but onto this one. in progress. This is what I've been able to pull out so far. And these are gonna, uh, yeah, make these great fence posts out in the back. 
right now it's just so crowded and then you see these dead poles that just don't have a chance to get out and they clog up the center and everything is just way 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 too overgrown and tight here and you can see a little tiger on the edge there all right but so i'm gonna get at it we're gonna clear out this bit and try and pull out some of the other big guys. Really get rid of these branches. You want to be careful not to cut into any of the nice poles that you might want to harvest in the future. But there's so much of this junk in here that makes it hard to harvest now. Best to clean it up so that the extraction's easier and safer as well. Stuff. Once you cut it, you want to pull it out. And I'll cut a little more. Nope. Sometimes you get caught. So what's next? What looks good? There's this big old guy in here, which has been dead a while lopped off at the top, right in the center of the clump. It's not doing anyone any, any good in there. I really think I gotta upgrade to a better chainsaw. So, I managed to dismantle or temporarily break the branch cutter and the electric chainsaw grinder is out of batteries. So we're going to call it a day for now, but you can see the whole bamboo clump here. I'm looking forward to getting it thinned out so that there's room for more uh, fresh bamboo shoots to go grow through. And yeah, we'll get back to you on that another day. Seguro, tomorrow. Now, I guess it's time for happy hour. Let's be real.